Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 90 rated icon Rui Costa. So if you do want to go and pick this guy up on PlayStation 4, he will cost you anywhere from 108,000 to 1.8 million coins. On an Xbox, he's slightly more expensive at 108,000 to 2 million coins. And if you don't want to buy him and just decide you want to do the SBC, that will set you back just over 500,000 coins on both consoles. So for 500,000 coins, you are getting a very, very good player. You know, he has some insane stats. Um, he's very versatile. You know, you can play him in centre mid, cam, or even striker. I'm pretty sure Nepenthes, um on his road to glory, he plays him in striker. So, you know, he's very versatile. What is a very good thing to have on FIFA, you know, especially even if you don't want to put him on your team. You can always, you know, sub him on um, late on in the game. And, you know, play him basically anywhere in the midfield to a striker position. Um, so as well as this, he is also Portuguese, so you can link him up with Ronaldo, he gets that, you know, strong link, and as well as that, you know, just like all icon cars, they do link up with basically everyone, um, so yeah, that's really important, you know, especially when creating hybrids. So as well as that, um, a very surprising thing about this card is his strength, now looking at his... Um, physical it's only 79 but he actually has 84 strength in game what is very surprising so this makes him also you know very good defensively as well as you know um, being a very good attacking player I found you know I play him in a I think it's it's yeah it's a 3-4 3-4-2 one formation and I have him as one of my centre mids and you know he's an absolute beast in midfield for me um, scores some insane goals um, as you'll see from these clips, you know, his long shots are absolutely incredible. If you didn't see already, I made a video about a month ago. Um, it was showing off the best possible Portuguese squad builder, and he was in it. And in that video, he scored an absolutely insane long shot. Um, I couldn't find it to pull it into this video, but if you do want to go and see it, you can still go and check out that video. So another pro I could find with this card was his control. And just like I said with the Thiago review, this guy just controls the midfield, you know, dictates play, um, slows the game down, speeds it up, you know, he's just the perfect, perfect midfielder in my position, um, in my opinion, not position. <laughs> and I was, um, as well as this, you can also sort of play him in the cam position. Um, I did play him there a few times and he did a very good job. Um, in the centre mid position, he's more of the assister, but when you move, move him into that cam position, you know, he starts to score a lot, a lot of goals. Um, I use this guy in squad battles quite a lot as well, and, you know, he's always there, he's always this player, you know, when you need a goal. Um, late on in a match when you're losing or if you like need to win the match, you know, he's always seems to come up um, and just scores those important, important goals. So as you can see, he's got medium, medium work rates, but are also perfect for a midfielder. So guys, this has been the review. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.